guys, it's Marissa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing my really easy and delicious peanut butter cup recipe with all of you. This recipe only requires three ingredients. You do not need to bake it and it is so easy to put together and it's actually really fun to make in my opinion. Um, and the reason that I wanted to share this recipe is that it is October and Halloween is right around the corner. And what does that mean? But candy, right? Along with costumes and all that fun stuff. But Candy is usually what people think about when they think of Halloween, right? Um, at least here in the US. So anyways, um, I wanted to share. So when it comes to getting healthy, if you were kind of like in that beginning series or, you know, beginning, you know, journey of getting healthy, um, if you remember from my very first video that I shared in my Getting Healthy for Beginner series, um, I mentioned that you really want to start looking at the quality of the food that you're consuming versus just specifically like how many carbs, fats, and proteins are in it. So instead of trying to say like, oh, I can't eat candy, that's kind of sad, right? So a really big part of living a healthy lifestyle um, and to do it in a way that's very sustainable and will be with you long-term is to look at the quality of the food that you're consuming and not necessarily just say to yourself like, oh, I can't eat candy anymore. That's not true. So in today's video, I am sharing my per one of my personal favorite candies with you and that is peanut butter cups and we're going to be making them together. Making these at home is really great because I can control the ingredients. I can control what type of chocolate goes in there, what type of peanut butter goes in there, what type of fat goes in there. And it's really nice that I get to control the ingredients versus just buying a product from the grocery store. And it's, you know, you don't have any control. So there could be processed oils, there could be high fructose corn syrup, there could be preservatives, food colorings, um, dyes, all that stuff. And um, it can be much more of a highly processed food that can cause you um, some problems with one, your gut health, but also trying to maintain a healthy weight. So I want you guys to really enjoy this recipe, but also realize that part of getting healthy and holistic living is also, you know, enjoying your favorite foods and to try to do it in a way that will still nourish you, um, your mind, body, and soul, right? That's a big part of holistic living. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I talk about holistic living on this channel. Um, I really believe in it. I have a whole video that I will link up above for you guys to watch if you want to figure out exactly like what that is and I kind of went into detail as to you know the definition of it and all that stuff but anyway so without further ado I'm going to go ahead and get started make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if you like peanut butter cups and let's go okay so this is everything you're going to need in order to make today's recipe so we're going to make our peanut butter cups in a muffin tin in a mini muffin tin and then we're also going to use these like mini muffin liners because they're going to give us really pretty edges all around the peanut butter cup as you will see at the end of the video we're going to use a cup of chocolate this is semi-sweet chocolate you can of course use whatever type of chocolate you prefer so dark chocolate milk chocolate white chocolate whatever um, but i'm using semi-sweet for today's recipe so so this is one cup, like I said. Then we're going to use some creamy organic peanut butter. Um, it's really important to buy peanut butter that just has peanuts and sea salt. You don't need any excess oils or sugars in your peanut butter, and it's going to pour really nicely, which will just help us with the actual assembly of these peanut butter cups. I'm going to melt the chocolate in the Pyrex liquid measuring cup with a little bit of coconut oil. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of coconut oil, and we're gonna melt the chocolate like that. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble these peanut butter cups. Okay, so first things first, we need to melt the chocolate. I melted mine in the microwave in a liquid measuring cup with two teaspoons of coconut oil. I microwaved it for about 20 second intervals and checked it each time just to make sure that it wasn't burning. Um, but if you don't wanna use the microwave, then you can of course use the double boiler method on your stovetop. And then while that was melting, I just added my mini muffin liners to my muffin tin. And this way everything is all set to go as soon as that chocolate is nice and melted. Now you can go ahead and start adding your chocolate into each muffin liner. So I added maybe like a half a teaspoon of melted chocolate into each one, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can just add in as little or as much as you want, but you want enough so that it's gonna cover the bottom and the sides of the muffin liner. Now you can go ahead and use a different spoon to spread out that chocolate so that it covers the bottom as well as the sides of the muffin liner. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're gonna add in our peanut butter. So I added again, maybe like a half a teaspoon of peanut butter, but again, it's not an exact science. So just add in as little or as much as you'd like. And I wanted to say, like, if you have trouble with nuts in your diet, then you can always use sunflower seed butter. That would work really well in this recipe too. And last but not least, we are going to cover it with more chocolate. So go ahead and add enough chocolate so that you are covering the peanut butter. You can, of course, kind of use your spoon to gently spread the chocolate on top, but do be careful not to over mix it because otherwise then your peanut butter and your chocolate are gonna be like swirled together when we really just want them to be separate layers. And once you are done with those, you can go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of the muffin liners on your muffin tray. And once you are done assembling all of them, you can go ahead and set the tray in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes to allow it to set. Hey you guys, so here they are. I just took them out of the freezer and they look so good. I'm so excited to eat one of these. Um, so what I would recommend is that you let it come to room temperature for maybe like five to 10 minutes after you pull it from the freezer. Um, and that way it's a little easier to go ahead and eat it. Um, and then when you are done with what you're eating and you need to store the rest, I would store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator for maybe like up to seven days. Um, and then I wanted to show you what they look like when you take it out of the little wrapper because I promised you in the beginning of the video. So when you take it out of the wrapper, it legit looks like what you would buy or what you would find in the grocery store. Guys, it's so good. You've got your peanut butter in the middle, the chocolate all around. It is so good, you guys. I literally don't even miss the one from the grocery store. Mm. Give me a minute. Alrighty, you guys, so that is everything I have for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you decide to recreate this recipe, then let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section. If you like this video, then please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!